Hi everyone and welcome to Weekly Wednesday. Today I decided to just start doing something different. There have been some things on my mind and things that I wasn't sure how I was going to start implementing onto my channel, but now is now is the day to start. And with that, I just wanted to share with you kind of a little bit of a change that I'm going to be making because sometimes change is necessary, especially when you take a step back and you realize certain things aren't working for you. What wasn't working for me was the whole week, weekly vlog type deal and me having this expectation on myself that I'm going to have a weekly vlog and I'm going to have a day in the life every single Wednesday or even just the food aspect of it, all of that. I want whatever I share with you on here to be inspirational, of course, um, but where I'm going with this is that it's just not my thing. I've been struggling with it. I think that during different periods of my life, um, it it's okay to be taking out the camera and stuff for like daily life and all of that. Um, but I think that I like a different direction with it all. What I don't care for is me taking out the camera and saying I'm doing this and I'm doing that. I think I've discussed this before when I was talking about um, like the Instagram stuff that I want there to be a purpose behind what it is I'm sharing with you. And with all of that being said, I've just been feeling pretty down with the fact that I've tried starting several weekly vlogs and I haven't completed any of them. Within those weeks, I just wasn't feeling like taking it out all the time or, um, you know, sharing different things. It just, it wasn't, it wasn't right to me. And I know that a lot of you understand this and you know you say do what's right for your family do what's right for you I understand that it's more of me expressing to you that I said that I was going to be doing this and that and I'm not following through with it so it reflects more on me and how I feel about myself and so I was sitting back trying to figure out well what do I want to do what I want to do is I want to share something that has inspired me each week. That is what I think would be great to share on here with a weekly, uh, maybe a glimpse of a couple of different things that happened in my week, but not necessarily me talking about them. It could include me talking about something that I did. Um, you know, different clips here and there, which I'm going to put these at the end of the weekly video that I'm going to do if I have something that I felt like sharing. It's not always going to be that way. Um, it will definitely probably just be to music and just sharing different, um, it's more of like a scrapbook of what I wanted to remember, but not necessarily me talking. Sometimes me going back and seeing me talking about this or that I just sit there and ask, what did that add to anybody's life? What did that do? What was the purpose of that? And that's kind of um, where I'm going with all of this, is I want there to be a purpose behind what it is I'm sharing with you, maybe um, give you something, some food for thought on something, something that made me think, something that I gained something from. And so I think that that is just going to make this weekly Wednesday so great. It'll kind of be like a tea with Nikki or or whatever you want to call it. It's going to definitely be more chatty and um, I'm not one for liking even just to hear myself talk. I annoy myself at times. But I think that there are some things that I would like to talk about and I would like to share with you things that have been on my mind. So what I'm going to get into today is what has really been on my mind this past, this past week, this past weekend. This is something that comes up every single month for me. And it's something I'm trying to put my finger on. It's something that I've seen long ago. I don't know when it was. I believe it had to have been on MySpace or, 
or Facebook or something, but it was, it was quite a while ago. And it was like this chart of a woman's menstrual cycle. I know we're going to be talking about this today. And maybe some of you have seen this chart or you've read up on this, but this is something that I think every single woman needs to know about. It's something that as a young woman, I would have loved to know. I would have really loved to have understood all of it instead of just even reading it. I think I I slightly glanced at it and was like, oh yeah, haha, ha, that's funny. Um, but really learning about it has just changed the way I thought, think about it. It's helped me to understand why I'm feeling the way that I'm feeling, why I feel more like doing something around different times of the month than other times, why maybe sometimes I feel beautiful and other times I just feel like I feel very crummy and um, that I feel insecure or just whatever it is. So I want to direct you to an article that I recently read and I found this article just searching. I think it was um, charts on a woman's mood throughout the month or something because I remembered this this chart that I saw. I did not find the chart that I was looking for, but it gave me exactly what I needed and it helped better explain what it was I was looking for. So I think that it's very interesting because of the fact that, for instance, this past week, many of you noticed that I did not post a video on Friday. Well, Truth be told, I really overbooked myself. I um, I took on too much. And at the wrong time of the month, I took on too much. And that is something that I'm learning. And I would love to just map it out in my planner. This is something else that I'm going to uh, start implementing in my planner. And so I just thought that it would be fun to uh, discuss this on here. And maybe if, if you have noticed any of this before in your own life or I'm sure pretty much I mean if you're a woman you've noticed these things in your life and um, just different times they call it PMS when you're just uh, you know not feeling great and you you know feel like nothing is going right you're very irritable all of those different kind of things what I loved about this article is that it wasn't a negative thing when we really put a negative view or a negative mindset around this time of the month. I love the time where I feel that they call it fierce. I think the fierce time of your month, fierce time, fierce time. I love that time because it's when the introvert in me gets to flourish, so to speak. It's when I grow in so many different ways because I give myself usually that time or when I'm feeling like I just don't want to be around anybody in that time, I don't press myself to do that. So many times I have and it didn't end well. And I think that I could have saved a lot of relationships like with girlfriends, not that I had bad relationships with girlfriends. I think that I could have saved a lot of heartache and they could have probably too, because when we feel like we need to communicate with each other all of the time, if you have a good friend or, um, you know, just in your family, stuff like that, you get into these routines of, well, I'm going to be going here this, this day every single week. But then some weeks, it's probably not a good thing for you to be around certain people or even just around anybody. Sometimes you need that time to just reflect. I loved what it talked about in this article that around that time, you, you really grow. You you realize what you need or what's not working in your life. And those are the times when you make those changes. And this is something that I've been reflecting on even before I read this article because I understand how I'm feeling. I know that I need to be by myself. I know that um, 
me putting so much pressure on myself to accept every invitation that has come my way because I don't want to miss out on family stuff or things like that. I need to be more forgiving of myself or more understanding of myself in this time that it's okay. It's not like you're giving up on your family. It's not like you're giving up on your friend just because you, it's, it's not a good time for you to get together or it's not a good time for you to host an event or host a party, something along those lines. So I just thought that this would be great food for thought. I wanted to direct you to something where there's actually some, you know, medical advice behind it or um, just some science. We'll call it that. There's some science behind it all and the whole entire way that the women's cycle works is a beautiful thing and it helps you to be creative at different times and you know feel your best it helps you to this there are certain times where I think it's better for you to pick out your outfits I don't know if I've talked about this before but I have found that there are different times where I'm more creative in what I'm going to wear. I can put an outfit together and I feel like I have all of these different options and then other times where because I'm feeling really crummy or because I don't feel beautiful or whatever it is, I feel like I have nothing to wear. I think that's the time where we all feel we have nothing to wear and then we go on these shopping sprees and you know so understanding all of that is going to make all of the difference. So I just thought that I would read a few things out of this article, things that you might be able to relate with and a lot of these things did make me laugh. So okay we're going to talk about your Venus week. This is um, your Venus week is your peak week, the time of the month when you feel your best. And then it says studies have found that during your fertile period and ovulation, others find you more attractive, your voice changes and sounds more attractive to others, your natural scent may increase testosterone in your mate, um, your libido increases. Your skin is more clear and hydrated. You're more likely to choose a man based in his physical attractiveness at this time, uh oh, rather than his potential to be a good partner and father. Oh, maybe that's, maybe there's a lot. That could not be good. Okay, you're more flirty than other times of the month. You're more likely to choose revealing clothing or dress to impress others. So see, you have to be careful around those times. You have to tell yourself, no, this is not, this is not what, um, this is not how I want to present myself at this time. So, um, choosing an alternative, I guess you would say, okay. You feel an increased motivation to manage your attractiveness and weight. So you eat less based on this finding. I guess you feel more motivated to go to the gym as well. So I think, you know, there are those times where we just feel that we have it all together and we can do anything. We, we're going to make all of these plans to go to the gym these days. And it's, it's just so funny to think about that we make these decisions like they're always going to be the decisions that we're going to make. But because of how we feel at different times, that's why we end up giving up a lot. But what I see in this is that it just means that there are different times that you should focus on different things. That's how I'm taking this. Your appetite is reduced and you have fewer cravings. So sometimes you feel like, oh, I can do this. I can, I can not eat this. I cannot eat that because you, um, you don't feel like you want to. Okay. And then, um, what I liked about this is that it gave you gave you some examples of what this time would be good for. So it makes a great time to attend a, or host important events. So this is the time where you would have those parties. You would schedule in, oh yeah, I can, I can host this party because I'm going to have it all together this week and uh, give presentations, hold important meetings. You know, this would be a great time if you're a batch video maker to make all the videos that you can in this time. And then you have your, your time to 
edit during those times where you don't want to be around anybody, you don't want to talk to anybody. Um, so this is a good time to negotiate with someone, have a first date, spend quality time with your partner. So that was something that was really great out of this article. And then um, also your fierce time. So your fierce time is an opportunity to tap into your inner knowing and practice self-care. This is the time where you just don't want to be, you don't want to be around anybody. Um, I liked how it said, um, this is when women are most in tune with their inner knowing and with what isn't working in their lives. This is always the time that I sit there and I reflect on what I'm doing. Why am I doing what I'm doing? Um, different relationships in my life. What's not working around this time? This is, I know that this is the time where I have way more talks with my mom and I need those times. But then I feel like there's certain times of the month where maybe I'm out um, like doing a lot of things and then I don't see my mom as much or I don't consult her about different things as much. And what I need to recognize is that I don't need to at that time. I need to take advantage of the other time to do all of this other stuff and then it's okay to have a time where I don't have to go to my mom's all the time to talk to her and and then the next the next time of my fierce time when I'm feeling like that then I then I go and I I search her out or I search out that friend that I need to talk to about something or you know, I mean kind of going off on a tangent here, but this was very exciting to find this and to read and um, let's go on. So somehow you feel stronger during this time, more willing to stand on your own two feet and fight for what you want in your life. So this says, no matter what we do, our moods are going to change in the second half of our cycle. It's in our nature. So to accept that, accept that, yes, your mood changes. You're going to be more, uh, you know, you're going to be different. This is, again, we're talking about the fierce time. So this is what it states. Here's how you know your fierce time has started. Your, um, your basal body temperature rises after ovulation. Your body temperature rises, and if you use natural fertility tracking, you'll know when this happens each month. You are suddenly annoyed by everything and everyone. Who can relate to that? I know I can relate to that. The person that I just thought I, I loved being around all of the time and then all of a sudden I just can't stand. It's not personal. Okay, you feel like being alone. You question your life, relationships, and or career. Yes. You are more sen sensitive, anxious, tired, and hungry. You find yourself acting irrationally, but you can't stop. This made me laugh. You cry easily, you lack motivation, and it takes way more effort to get to the gym and eat well. So this is great for somebody who they're trying to make those life changes. Knowing that you're gonna feel like this around this time will help you to to help you pay more attention in this time that you're gonna need to make a bigger effort. You may have more skin breakouts and water retention in this time. So, you know, making sure that you uh, don't use this day to take your family pictures or to, to wear the certain clothes, like you might have to change your clothes up a little bit around this time. And then it talks about putting it into practice there's a whole chart about um, making the most of your Venus week, planning important meetings and presentations, hosting events, going on a date, spending, we already discussed all of that. Okay, look after yourself during your fierce time by planning time to yourself, watching your favorite shows, doing routine tasks, arranging for extra childcare. So don't feel bad that you need to have a break. 
don't feel bad that you know you feel like you don't have it all together this is actually the time where you can do more of the planning and then putting that into practice in those weeks where you just feel amazing and um, you know people feel like well this week I wasn't productive and I just sat in my bed and watched um, you know watched your shows well maybe you need that time to do that you need that time to just kind of be by yourself maybe you would even gain some inspiration from watching those shows and so not to be so hard on yourself during that time so this was very inspiring to me today this is something that I've had on my mind for a while. I'm really glad that I finally looked this up. I'm gonna go ahead and link this in the description box below if you're interested in reading about this. It would also be great probably for you to uh, search other things. I know I'm gonna search some other articles and read more on this. It's, it just is nice that, um, I really like the way that this ended this out actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and read this. Putting it into practice. Um, hopefully you'll now start making the most of your Venus week and approach your fierce time with curiosity for what your intuition has to say. Slow down during the fierce time and spend some time alone. This is the best way to get in touch with your inner knowing. We women are complex beings. No matter what we do, our moods are going to change. We have beautiful monthly rhythms that are driven by nature. I loved that. I love that um, it's looked at as a beautiful thing because it really is. If we work with these rhythms, we enjoy more fully what it means to be a woman. Life tends to feel a lot better too. So I just love that. This is exactly what I needed to read. This is something that, like I said, I've been you know, going through those emotions and those ups and downs. And part of me understood it and wanted to embrace that. But I really didn't know how. I didn't know what times that would be. And so I just schedule things like, like I'm always going to be in that I can handle anything that comes my way mood. We go through those times where we feel that we have it all together and then everything falls apart. And so we, we don't think as highly of ourselves. We don't think, and not that you should think highly, like, you know, you're all that, but what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, right? We, we tend to talk ourselves out of a lot of things. We tend to talk down to ourselves and that's not healthy. So hopefully this helps you. If this is something that you struggle with, I know it's something I struggle with on a monthly basis. And so now better, I have a better understanding. I'm going to go ahead and write some things in my calendar about when would be a great time. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and print this out and probably put this whole thing, you know, the mood tracker and everything in the back of my planner. That way when I'm planning things, I can see, well, when did my period start? And, you know, do things based off of that. Not, not to where you can't have some flexibility on some things, but just understanding that, am I setting myself up for failure? Am I setting myself up to question myself about everything and to feel horrible? And, you know, all of those different things that we go through as women. So what I'm going to leave you with today is maybe a few clips of the weekly vlog that didn't work out because it's just not my thing, okay? It's not my thing to, at this time, maybe when there is a specific time, like during summer break, or you might, you might still see some weekly vlogs here and there. I'm not going to completely rule it out but for the most part, that's not where I want my content to be. So it might be a surprise here and there, but what I want to focus on more is this, a weekly chat, just talking about different subjects, different things that are going to help you in some way, different things that have helped me, things that are inspiring to me for that week or what I learned, etc. So Yes, like I said, I might leave you with a few clips because I haven't even gone through that. I need to put all of this together. And um, 
understand that I did have every intention to post this past Friday, but because of it just not working out, that's why I didn't. Um, you know, I let family and other things take priority, and I know that that's something that everybody understands. Um, and that's just the way that it's going to be sometimes. There are going to be some times like where I'm going to need some space and I'm going to need time to reflect. I'm going to need time to just not do anything. And so if I press myself to do it anyway, I know that the content isn't going to be great. I know that the work that I put out there isn't going to be my best. And so it's just something that I need to be more forgiving of myself. I need to give my permission. I need to give myself permission to accept it and to uh, just continue on anyway. So that is going to wrap up this weekly Wednesday. I hope that this gave you some food for thought. I hope it was beneficial in some way for you. If this is something that you've never heard of, I would definitely recommend you reading this article, even if you have heard of it. Read this article. It's from the website uh, femalefitnesssystems.com. I'm gonna go ahead and link that in the description box below. Please let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And I will leave you with a few highlights from my past week. And until next time, I hope that you take care and have a beautiful week.